Hello, in this episode we will show you how we install a forward scan sonar sensor. We already use our BNG Vulcan 7 chalk plotter. It's installed here at the helm. So the forward scannability in the chart plotter is already there. On the back is an open connector where you only plug in the installed forward scan sonar sensor and it will automatically recognize the sensor, what it is good for. It will be just shown in a few seconds uh, in a small animation. And how we install it, we just show it in this episode. So have fun with it and see how we improve our sailing boat for the next cruising season. Oh, it's just here where I already marked it. So it's just here. And now we will drill the pilot hole through the hull to find the right spot. I hope this is the right spot. And then there will be the forward scan sonar looking to our boat. Are you ready to drill a hole? No. <laughs> My heartbeat is racing. So this is our first one time drilling a hole in our so that we like to add uh, in our B hull bng forward scan for the same model like simrad uses um, to our ammo 54 so that we have a hint in shallow waters to find passages through reefs and rocks and in the past we avoided sometimes to go into passages where we are not sure if it's properly charted or where the passage is actually maybe there's some no boys no no navigational hints where it is and sometimes we just went in by eyeball navigation one standing on the bow and looking forward into the water but that doesn't work always sometimes the light is not good there's some glittering on the water you can't see so and in these conditions we sometimes had to do a, a wide sail around these spots around this passage or couldn't enter at all and now we'd like to add something to our boat the forward then and it's scary for us so now it's a bit scary we hope because that this will work. This will be the the pilot hole in the hull, absolutely vertical. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. So, in case of. It's not such a big risk. It's only a five millimeter hole. And if something goes wrong, we can just close it. <laughs> Oops. It's difficult to mount it there. And there should be, at best, no air bubbles and no disturbance. So I'm oh, sure. It's already through. Perfect. Oh god! <laughs> what is it? It's nothing. It was a joke. So we are through. This is the pilot hole. Now we have to go to the inside and have a look where it is. If hopefully there is nothing above. I measured. There should be nothing above, and it should be the right place to install the sensor. Yeah, let's go inside. So we have to see. So that is the tiny hole what we drilled from down there and later on we're gonna drill this yeah. okay. this one is a through hull and we will fit this in there at 
that place. So, the progress of our forward scanner. So, Oliver already um, smoothed this with a fiberglass and what was it, Oli? Can you please explain it? Build up the space here so that we have a flat surface for the bushing and the bushing has this diameter mm -hmm. and now we drill a hole for the bushing mm -hmm. with this what is it called hole drill so there's a pilot hole and I will try to follow the pilot hole with the center drill so it will hopefully cut out the right size for the bushing Okay, so you're ready? So now we have to be straight. Is it straight? It's very straight. Well, it's following the pilot hole. We're going for, but we hope that we don't. Oh, it's not fixed. Yet. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So this is how it is. It's not yet true, but we're gonna drill more until it's true. Ah, wait, 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 no, wait, I didn't get that. That was just the moment when I'm through. Yeah. Yeah, now it's true. So here we see that it's about 30 millimeters at all, maybe 40. Yeah. And this is a core, there's a core. So. Now, yeah, here's a very nice cut from our hull. We never drilled a boat before. This is the first time that we make a hole in our boat yeah yeah ah, here that you see this is the light one is the one I added as a base here no the base is the light one and then in inside here the dark that is the original transom mm -hmm. the fibers and on top is another Epoxy here, the light mm -hmm. one. I added this to level the top of it for mm -hmm. the counter piece. So this is now the final hole for our forward scanner. So wait a minute, Nisa. I will get the the bushing. It's a bushing for the sensor. Oh, quite Perfect. good and quite level. Here is a little gap that I need to fill or I will just sand this side a bit more and then oh, yeah. and smooth this edge a bit around here. So smooth it all more with some sandpaper and wow. then the sensor, the forward scan will uh, come out here from this one. Mm -hmm. We glue this and fix it with Sika Flex yep. and on top so, on top is this one, inside, mm -hmm. so with that we fix it, and with Sika Flex, so this will stay in the boat, this is inside, this is outside, mm -hmm. and then the forward scan will look forward and give us a warning if there is a coral head or something in front of us, hopefully it does. So we have more 
um, confidence to pass through narrow channels and shallow uh, entries in lagoons or reefs, something like that. It gets like five paintings with primer, with epoxy primer, because we scratched here the epoxy primer, uh, the original one from the hull, so that we don't have any problems with osmosis and entering salt water. Today I sanded it, planed the base more flat and exactly 90 degrees to the hull and to the keel. And now I painted it already twice with epoxy primer uh, to shield any possibility of osmosis around here. So the, the base itself is made from epoxy resin, so there shouldn't be any issue with that. But the place where I scratch uh, by sanding the hull all around to get a perfect surface to, to glue to it. So there is scratches in the original uh, epoxy primer that shields the fiberglass from uh, seawater and from getting osmosis. So now I paint it already twice. So I will apply like five paintings, five layers of paint. So this is an update for our forward stand. We already finished um, installing it and this is how it is here. This is the forward scan. So now Villanautica has a forward scanner. As a next step, we need to bring the forward scanner cable through all the bilge compartments into the helm where the BNG Volcane chart plotter is installed. So, just go at the other side, Uli. Mm -hmm. I don't know if. Yeah, now, now I get it. Update is we are through here in this compartment and now we are in this compartment. So, nobody opens it here. The most comfortable position going through, <laughs> taking the wear out there. Finally. We routed the cable from the underfloor storage compartments behind the pantry through a cable canal into the helm area. So that's all for today's episode guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Your subscription helps us to produce more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell beside the subscription button to get notified when we upload a new video. So, cheers guys cheers. and waves to all of you. Bye, see you in our next episode. Da -da -da. What time is it? <laughs> it's 6 p.m. So it's good for a sundowner. Cheers. 6 p.m. sundowner? So yeah. it's allowed since 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that's all. We got it. Yeah.